So press plates. A press plate is when I am using a slab and pressing it into something soft, in this case foam, to create a curved edge. It's a really easy, quick way to make small plates. It doesn't work that well for larger plates. So you can see here I've made a lot of my template pieces and from here I need to work on smoothing. And so I like to make a lot at once if I know I'm making multiple plates, but you do have to be really careful with this because then you're going to end up having to maintain the dampness of multiple pieces. So that means you're probably wrapping them a lot, you're checking on them frequently. So just keep in mind like what is a good kind of work habit for yourself, right? So I'm making a lot because I'm doing a lot of demos, so that makes a lot of sense for me. So from here I need to smooth them. So you can see they've got some texture on them. They are at, they've dried a little bit, so they're at a soft leather hard stage, right? So I can still flex them without them breaking, and this is really important. I don't want them too dry. I also don't want them too wet. So this is a great stage. So from here, I'm going to use either my slab smoothing blade or something like a wooden rib or perhaps even just like an old kind of gift card or something like that. And so I wanna hold these at an angle and kind of pull them towards me. And usually I'm gonna do this over all of my slab before I cut them. I didn't happen to do that in this case, which is also maybe I did it and then for some reason kind of messed them up or something. So if you need to go back and do this, all is not lost. You might change the shape a little bit as you're smoothing it. So you either are, can be okay with that or you might lay this back on top and trim things down if you need to. So I'm going to smooth both sides, even though I'm only putting surface on one, um, you do, you know, turn your plates over every so often. And it's important that you think about every detail, right? You want whoever uses this to not look at the bottom and be like, oh no, somebody didn't really think about the finished component of this piece. So I'm going to smooth all of these on the top and bottom and along the edges. So right now I have really rough cuts here. And so what I like to do is sometimes I can just use my finger. If it's at the drier stage, what I will often do is use either a metal rib or again, these gift cards are great holding them at an angle, just kind of shaving it down. I do this a little bit at this stage, knowing that I'm not gonna get it perfectly done because right now the clay is a little too wet to really release all of those crumbs. So sometimes I'll find myself with little bits left over. But if I can clean up some of this, it gets me ahead later. So going around and do that for all of them. And again, I might cut all of my slabs and then I might stack them, perhaps with a piece of plastic in between so they don't stick, and wrap them up, and then refine each one as I'm getting to them. So from here, I have my kind of cleaned up, neatened up piece, and I need a piece of foam. I'm gonna place my piece on top of that, my slab, and then I need to decide what is the kind of interior shape of my plate look like. So for example, here is a completed press plate and it's circular on the inside. And so I want to think about what shape on the inside kind of um, depression looks um, well with my design, right? So a few choices. I have a few of these actual press plate forms. So for example, if I wanted a rectangle, I might choose this one. You have to think about the size and relationship to your piece as well. I also have just wooden blocks. These can work really well. And I can, this is nice because I can choose a bunch of different sizes. Or I have some of this um, insulation foam and those could work. Or finally, really anything could be a press form. The important thing is what does the bottom look like because, for example, this has this kind of raised edge and that will show up on here. So if that's not something that I want, either if it's subtle like this, I can smooth it or I need to find something else. So if I'm going to use this plastic one, usually I'm going to want to wrap it in plastic. It's a little crinkly for this demo, so I'm going to leave it off. So I want to arrange it into my piece and then I'm going to just press my hands down on over it. You have a really quick press down. So you can't see that from above. So here's what that looks like from the side. So as I pressed down, the foam allowed my clay to wrap around the edge just subtly to create that raised plate shape. So then from here, I need to look and see, do I need to press any more in one direction? It looks like I kind of pressed more on this side than this side, so do I need to kind of push over more on this side? So I can adjust my shape a little, and then I have to carefully peel this off, and then there we go, I have my first press plate. So you can see some of that edge showing up, and I might just soften that with my finger, and this is a good stage to do that. So then from here, I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit so that it's not as flexible, right? It still needs to be on the leather hard side, but not quite as damp. 
it's going to get what I might call, um, or what I've heard called, is a cheese dampness, which means if you think about hard cheese and how it's kind of shaved down, same idea here. So you need to let this dry a little bit, but again, being really careful with how dry it gets. So those are press plates.